Prince William's furious outburst at Prince Edward as Gar threatened royal family. Prince William and Prince Edward's relationship appears to be noticeably closer now that Mexit is in live action. But that has not always been the case. William's younger brother, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle announced that they were quitting the firm in January last year. Since then, they have moved to California and are exploring other projects, leaving a pile of work for other royals to pick up. Giles Brandreth, a family friend and biographer to Prince Philip, hinted that Prince Charles wants to slim down the monarchy to just six working members when he becomes king. But Mexit has somewhat forced his hand, meaning his brother Prince Edward and his wife Sophie. Countess of Wessex will have more prominent roles. Edward will take on his peerage, and Philip's title will be passed to the Earl of Wessex's 13-year-old son James, Viscount Seven. William's relationship with Edward appears to be close today. As they set about rebuilding the royal family's image together, but this is in stark contrast to what took place in the royal household 20 years ago, when the Duke of Cambridge was studying at university and had an agreement with the press that they would refrain from him being recorded during the course of his studies. The agreement was made in 2001 and was respected by all press agencies. But there was one television production company called Ardent that thought it was above the rules. The production company brazenly flaunted the privacy agreement terms by recording footage of Williams University. What was even more shocking was the fact that Ardent just so happened to be owned by Williams' uncle, Edward. Royal correspondent Robert Jobson detailed exactly what took place in his book Williams' Princess. Mr. Jobson said, William was furious. He felt his uncle's company's actions had threatened to undermine the carefully nurtured relationship between St. James Palace and the media, and in turn, that it would threaten the entente cordiale between him and the press. Mr. Jobson further explained that Charles was also angered by the gaffe, and that he scolded his younger brother and demanded that the Queen force Edward to decide between public duty or ardent. He adds, Relations between the brothers plummeted to low as St. James Palace publicly criticized Edward for his idiocy and the behavior of his production company.